Hi, I'm the Adobe Guy. Now today I've got a request here on AutoCAD uh, from Katie. Now this is about how to set up hyperlinks so that she can view different parts of the drawing at the same time. So I'm going to show you how to do this very simplistically to start with. And then what I'll do is I'll put together a more complex, more detailed video showing how to do this in 3D and working with different layers at the same time. So okay, just to start off, and again, like I say, this is the simplest way. So I'm just going to draw a very simple shape here, just so that you can see what I'm doing and where I zoom into. So if I've set up different types of corners here, just so you can see the different corners that we're zoomed into, although it will be obvious. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into view and into my view manager, and I'm going to create a new view, and I'm going to call this full. Now this will be the current view that I've got on my screen. So this view here will now be called full. So if I zoom in to the top right hand corner, I'm going to create another new view and I'm just going to call this TR for top right. Click OK and OK. Zoom out. Zoom in at the bottom right and guess what I'm going to call this one. Yep, you've got it. New. This one's going to be BR for bottom right. OK. Now, I can actually switch between these views quite easily up here on my view menu. So I can zoom into top right, full, bottom right, back again to full. But what about if I've got hundreds and hundreds of views? I don't want to be scrolling down all of these, um, particularly for going back to the full, which will be the home view. What I am going to do is I'm going to set up some hyperlinks down the side here. Now I like to set up the hyperlinks as single line text rather than multi line. You can do it in multi line. I prefer to do it in single line. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come across here. I'm going to use a reasonable size font. I'm just going to set up one called full. Another one for bottom right. Another one for top right. Okay. Now with these here, what I'm going to do is I click on full and I'm going to insert a hyperlink. Now the first time you go to set up hyperlink, so the first time you do insert hyperlink, this particular box will probably take quite a while to load up. Um, I don't know exactly why it does this. Uh, it's probably because it's loading, a, it's in, actually loading some things that it didn't load with the program when you initially did it. After you've done it once, it actually loads up quite quickly. Now I can here type in a hyperlink or more importantly for us I can click on a view of this drawing and it will then come up with any named views that I've actually created and you see that by default you've got the model layout 1 layout 2 so if I've set up layout 1 and layout 2 I can zoom into them as a view as well I'm gonna set full to be full okay I'm now just gonna repeat the process for the other two which is pretty straightforward again these are model spaces BR becomes BR and TR, if I click in the right place, becomes TR. Click OK. Now the way these work is you have to actually hold down Control and click. So when I click on Control and top right, it zooms into my top right view. I can do Control and Full, and it will zoom back out to my full view. Control and BR zooms into bottom right. Now. What I would normally do is I'd normally set up a, a link back to full and I'd include it as a tiny little icon lower down in this view. And what I would probably do is put that on its own layer and I would only have it visible in the view for when I'm zoomed in. So I'd have it visible um, in a nice location and it would probably I wouldn't use the word full. I can sometimes use a little icon of a house, which is basically the the, the recognize symbol for home and so when I click on that icon people know that it's going to take me back to the home view. Okay, um, that's where I'm going to leave it for this one. Like I said I'm going to put together another presentation showing this in a bit more detail showing how to zoom into different views in 3D and also how to turn on and off layers within the different view that you've zoomed into. Well I hope that's been useful especially to Katie and to all the others. Again like I say I hope it's been useful and thank you for listening.